So. In this video, we're going to show how to change out the capacitor in a K1622. Go ahead, Mike, tell us how you do it. Okay, first of all, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver, probably like a medium head. Pull off the four bolts, screws that goes into the cover. That's what I'm doing now. You can use an electric one, or you can use a manual by hand. Lift up the cover, right can you see, here's the capacitor where it sits. To get to this capacitor, you gotta pull this out gently to the side there, and there's two screws that you can use a small flathead screwdriver, stick it in the first slot, turn it counterclockwise, do the same to the second, counterclockwise. Gently pull the wire out, now it's out. Out with the old, and with the new. Usually it don't matter which one's left or right, whatever it is, but I usually keep the pair with the brown with the brown and put the blue with the white. Side, sometimes it's a little tricky to get it in there. Once she goes in there, just like that, she just slide right on in. Yeah. Clockwise, give a little tug, nice and snug, she's done. Do the same thing to the other side. Slip right in, counterclockwise. Done. Take the new capacitor, lay it in there. There's a slot where the wire goes in. Gently tuck it onto the side. And if you really want to test it, see if it works before you plug it in, you can do a quick test. This way you have no issues. Plug it in, hit the reset. She's on. Now she's off. Now she's on. Now she's on. Now she's Okay, unplug it, safety first, reverse the process with the cover, lay it back on, one of the screws up, which you're not lining, push down, take the screw gun, snug one down, not too tight. That's all it's to it. You just change the capacitor from a 1622. The end.